you know by the title, but I want to make it all exciting. Dead Mouse is 4x4 equals 12 or 4 times 4 whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah, it came out on December uh, 6th, so yesterday. And I'm very excited because it's my first Dead Mouse and Dance CD ever. Um, I, I know I said in my past videos that I'm a big fan, but I was only a big fan of the music style. Like, I listened to a couple of tracks and I would put them on my iPod. Like, a little bit of David Guetta, a little bit of Benny Benassi for Dubstep, Mount Eaton, uh, Nero, um, and for, uh, for Electronica, I was listening to Justice and shit like that. But I never really got into a whole full album, and I feel like this is, was a great start. Dead Mouse, you know, first year um, I heard about him, and uh, when I heard I was he's coming up with a new album, I was not going to buy his old stuff, but I was going to buy his new stuff. So, I went out and bought a copy of this, which is actually, um, I think it was uh, $13. I'm not sure, I forgot how much I paid for it. But exactly... Um, yeah, this is not the actual cover. It's actually black instead of white, but I'm not gonna print out a full black cover because that will waste all my ink and I don't have enough ink. So, yeah. So onto the review. There's 11 tracks and it goes like your run through for this will be an hour and 20 minutes. Um, and let me tell you, those hour and 20 minutes are pure sex. Uh, <laughs> I know it's really weird to say that, but this this, this artist knows how to throw a track down and not make it boring whatsoever. I know there's a couple of times here and there where it's just like, uh, but most of the time he has those cool, you know, repeating loops and then quiet and boom. And then this just amazing beat starts that just makes you pumped. And I don't know, I think it was, it was great. He does a good job at that. He never lets it get too boring. Like if he repeats a loop over and over and over again, he knows when to stop and start the next, uh, session or you know next part or add an extra instrument onto it to start building up um you know the the vibe the vibe um so yeah so i give this album a four to five stars um there's a couple of tracks here and there that were just like they could have been better but i give it to him he did a great job uh, I can't really compare it to you guys with his older stuff. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Um, because I'm, I mean, I haven't, I don't know any of his old stuff. I might get into his old stuff. I don't know about spending money on his old stuff, but maybe I'll look it up online or something. But for now, all I can give you is a straight up clean review of what this album is. I can't tell you how he's changed or how he he's getting worse or better. Um, I would recommend you guys if you like dance music to get this. It does a great job um i'm not that experienced i mean if for people who you know listen to dance all their lives they'll they can rate this actually a little bit better than me um just like i would be able to rate a rock album i've been listening to rock for so long but yeah there's actually actually uh, actually twice there's actually um a couple of songs that have like have a sound that relates to dubstep but it's not quite dubstep it's actually a new feel it keeps the album fresh i mean after you just think it's the same beats beats over and over for the past seven songs he whips in uh some dubstep feel in it and it makes it fresh again it's just like it makes me want to listen you know like i'm just chilling there doing my homework and when as soon as the track came on i like stopped and and i turned around i was like fuck yes and i got and get back into the album um favorite track here is uh sophie needs a ladder now the beginning is kind of slow but when it starts it's it's amazing um the last song is probably my least favorite song and it's actually placed in the right you know at the end it's in the right place because if it was in the middle it would have been like all happy and then like what the fuck is this song and then back to all happy but um you know, it was placed at the end of the album and it suits well as an ending you know as after everything's been like pumped up that last song kind of like throws you into the end you could say of the album so he ends it really good he starts it out really good um and I think Dead Mouse is a great, great, great dance artist. So get this, pick this up. Again, four out of five stars. Uh, leave your comments down there telling me, you know, what other music I should listen to that's dance because I'm actually interested a lot in getting into albums of dance. I'm running a little bit low on cash. I had a had a bag uh, for a couple more bucks just so I can get this album. 
but whenever I get the chance, I'll try to buy something that sounds reasonable. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and subscribe.